Welcome to Project Matthews, a special NHL 25 hot series. Here are the rules. Free to play. I can't buy players from the market other than Austin Matthews cards. I also need to earn every pack, reward, set that I open by scoring a hat trick with Matthews or getting the first star of the game with him. If opponent quits in a game where Matthews has scored, that counts as well. Only online games and games against Superstar AI apply towards hat tricks and first stars. Starting episode 6 and we've reached the unopened pack limit. You heard me right, unopened pack limit is 50 in hot. Every time I get past it, I'll do discard packs. Because obviously in this series, I just can't open and use the packs. Luckily, I have a lot of lower overall packs to open. So first discard packs in this series were nothing. I was a bit scared of the fantasy event though. I also got my hot champs rewards from last week. 85 Marlowe and 1 hot champs prime pack. What have they done to champs rewards? One pack for getting top 20. Anyway, team is still the same as last week and I started to play rivals to try to get things going with Matthews to open my rewards. Plus, I also need to earn champs points to enter to this week's hot champs. I ended up losing my first game of the week. What a terrible start. Second game of the week, I'm dominating big time but still struggling to score. Do I actually start my week with two straight losses? Yo, his goalie poked that away. Are you? Are, uh. Finally, <laughs> I think I deserve that win. Got to say. Matthews was terrible in the first few games, but after that he stepped up. A goal and a win in the third game wasn't enough for the first star though. Fourth game he went crazy. There he is! I tried a little give and go to find him back. Perfect. I tried to find him. Nice! Come on! That's two goals for Matthews. Come on! That's a hat trick. All right. All right. First star, Matthews. Here we go. Hot Champs rewards. First I'll open the 85 Marlowe, then I'll open the Hot Champs prime pack. Which guarantees only one 80 plus player. 18 and 2 for one guaranteed plus 80. That's where we're at right now. At least I'll get the Marlowe, which is massive for my team. Gold wheels, 90 speed. Such an incredible card. The second pack, Hot Champs Prime Pack. This is what I went 18 and 2 for. One guaranteed 80. <laughs> That's probably it. <laughs> That's my hot champs rewards, boys. What have they done, man? What have I done? I placed Marlow in my second line. His card looks awesome with the 90 speed and gold wheels, but just have to hope he performs as good as he looks. I also upgraded Drysdale to an 83. I need to win one more rivals game to qualify for champs, which I did. Here's a couple funny clips from the game. No, I tried to look for Matthews. <laughs> oh my god. Marlow, first goal in the team. It's a pretty one. It's a completely pretty one. Will be posted everywhere on socials later. Now it's time for hot champions. First week of champs, I went 18 and 2, as you know. Let's improve on that. By the way, you might have seen already, but I'm playing with classic camera once again. I just like playing with it more than overhead. First champs game was an easy win. Next game, I accidentally went to rivals. This was rivals? No, I didn't go to rivals. Oh my f I won the game though, and that's a five game win streak, and I have an Axe Factor choice pack to open from playing hot moments. I chose Pedersen, who I placed in the fourth line in place of Nolan. It's ridiculously hard to get better Axe Factors this year, especially in this series, but I'm working on getting one of the Axe Factor captains this season. Game 2 of champs was actually really hard for me, but I scored two massive goals in the third period to get the win. Game 3, I started cooking. B. 
build. That's such a nice play, man. Let's go. Matthews got on the board as well. Opponent quit, which means a pack for me. I got a gold card, which is honestly good value-wise. In the fourth champs game, I stayed hot offensively. Oi, oi, oi. That's a sexy move right there. <laughs> Yo, Peterson's first goal in the team. It's actually a pretty nice goal. Four and no start to the second champ season. Looking good. Next game, I scored with Matthews. Right away, opponent quit. So it's pack time. I need a good pack though. It's starting to get frustrating to me that the only way to get better packs right now seems to be to play hot moments. In Champs Game 6, I played against one of the better teams I've seen this year. Dude, he has the 87 Eichel already. Oh my god. So Kretzky just casually jumping to the second, <laughs> second line way, Kretzky. <laughs> oh my god. His team wasn't enough as I scored three goals and he's out of here. By the way, you haven't seen Marlowe a lot and this is why. Like Marlow doesn't feel that fast and then he loses the puck really easy as well. He's just not that good. Feels like he has no strength and I can't get him to work. I'm blowing my opponent out in the third. Matthews has been quiet though. Let's see what he can do to finish the game. Matthews plays at center. I feel like he's a... Okay. That's a goal for Matthews. <laughs> or even McDavid at center and run Matthews in the wing. Would that be a... I don't know. That might be okay. But McDavid and Cairo are just doing absolutely everything right now. I kind of want to sell McDavid. I really do. Matthews, there he is. Look, Swayman got it, but it still went in. Don't go to the bench. Don't go to the bench. <laughs> Don't you dare go to the bench. Oh, Matthews, come on, man. Let's go. <laughs> Patrick in the third period. Come on, man. <laughs> Use everything you have. Use everything you have. Oh, shooting McDavid. Dude, he's not moving, man. <laughs> okay. Let's see if Matthews got the first use. <laughs> it has to be McDavid, I think. He had like, honestly, McDavid honestly had like 10 points. Yeah. Even Matthews had four. Mac David with freaking six points. I'm speaking about selling him. Obviously, the next pack wasn't good, and you heard me right. I'm thinking about selling Mac David. More on that later. In game eight, it looked like I couldn't score at first. I'm so all over this guy, it's actually crazy. <laughs> it's, a, it's about time. Then I got on the board for two, and that was game. Finally, Austin Matthews as well. Okay, two goals was enough for my opponent, but hey, that's good. Quick win, and Matthews just scored, so that means a pack. Do I even need to show you these packs anymore? For the next game, I placed McDavid and Marlowe at center and moved Matthews to the wing. Couple reasons for this. I wanted to try more speed at center, get more scoring chances for Matthews in the wing. And I really want to get this Marlow to work. Maybe at center, he's not getting thrown around as much. The new lines seem to work. Here's the best moments in the next two games. Matthews, there he is. Look, Matthews in the wing, he gets closer to the net on those prime scoring areas. Matthews, back door. Nice pass, beautiful. Connor McDavid. That's a great play. Matthews. Backhand. Okay. Here's a tip for you. Take advantage of those line changes when breaking out with the puck, especially in the second period when your players change further down the ice. I often shoot the puck near the bench when I line change just to get quick counterattacks, and that throws your opponents off. Dude, the Alto, <laughs> the Alto is crazy. The Yai Iserman. People told me not to spell the Yai. There we go. There's another five-game win streak. You think I'm getting anything? Nope. In game 10, I'm starting to struggle a bit. Opponent scores first and gets a penalty shot to end the period. Yep. Massive save by me, though. This was a terrible game by me. I was struggling to score. I'm taking penalties, but I did just enough 
to end the third period to win the game 3-1. Come on, baby, let's go, man. In the middle of champs, I played a bit of wild card to get fantasy collectibles. In the next episode, you'll see why. I won't waste your time with this, but I went 10 and 3 in my wild card games. Had four first stars with Matthews, one five game win streak. I got two fantasy collectibles. I opened an 80 overall season one choice pack where I took Kemper, as I'm not too sure about Swayman. And plenty of discard packs, because right now I'm at my unopened pack limit again, but luckily nothing of much worth was quicksold. After this, this episode starts to get crazy. As you see, I have almost 600,000 coins. Why? What? Connor McDavid is sold. What the fuck? When I get 600k, probably after the champs, I will buy the fantasy hockey pack. This is the only way for me to get fantasy cards. I have a lot of good left-handed wingers. I just put Matthew Nice in the first line, who's been incredible for me. So obviously team is worse without McDavid, but honestly not even that much. Risky move to sell McDavid and there's no coming back now. Later on in the champs, my opponent starts to get tougher as always. Game 12, I'm playing a player who I'm 0-2 against in Rivals this year. First game without McDavid, this gives me more room for Matthews as well, who I moved back to center. It wasn't easy, but I got the win. Eight wins to go for 20 and 0. Here's a massive problem playing the game defensively. I can't do it. I, I tried to switch. Oh, the player switching is so ass. I tried to switch to that one time or so many times. Beautiful, great patience to fight sacking there. Marlo with a good pass. Marlo did something good for us. What a patience! Oh my god, his goalie catched that as well, but still in the net. Marlo, two points this game. Yeah, all this guy has had this game is point shots. He scored two. Another really tough game. I clutched it up though. Matthew scored the game winner. 5-4 win. I'm fighting. Game 14, still undefeated. I'm playing Bobby, who I won in the last champs. This game was an absolute thriller. Did I keep the 20 and 0 dream alive? Yeah, that, that's the difference. Like, when I don't have Makar on the ice and players like McKinnon are just getting past me, it's, I don't have anybody else who can catch up. Nice try. Good try. <clears throat> ah, bad defense. Let's not take penalties. Okay, one of these goals, I guess. I'm down 3-0. There's no way I go down like this. Oh, and his goalie is poking passes now. <laughs> Beautiful, there we go. All right. Good shot. Come on, baby. I don't even know what happened there. Keep it going. What is that animation? I 
I think it's safe to say I got screwed. No other way to put it. I was absolutely fuming after this, which showed in my next game as I was not at my best. Guys, always take breaks if you're angry or feel like not playing. It affects your gameplay so much. The game is tied in the third period and I'm starting to get into it. Yo, my first glitch wrap. <laughs> I got excited because I've been practicing it and I finally got to show it off. Just a note before everybody, somebody starts screaming in the comments that shouldn't be in the game. I'm up two with one minute to go. Easy, right? Defend, defend, defend. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. Okay, there we go. Um, I don't know what just happened. Just as last week, I started champs by winning 10 plus games, and then I lost two in a row. Again, I went straight away to my next game, as I didn't learn from my last game's mistake, playing frustrated. <sighs> ah, now, it's the, now it's the perfect time to play against me, though. <laughs> <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. Don't worry, I didn't lose three in a row. Actually, I went crazy to end the game, scored 11 goals, and Matthews got the hat trick. Plus the first start. I need like a milestone. There we go, 15,000 coins. Look at that. So only 10 more thousand coins for the fantasy pack. What do you guys think? I think I should be able to open these customization packs without anything. Like, come on. I think we can discount the customization aspects of Project Matthews. Make an active arena. There we go. So 70 overall booster pack and the dead pack era pack. Plus 80s, please. Nah. And then the dead pack era choice pack. None of these cards fit my team, so it doesn't matter who I take. Next game, I'm playing Bobby again. The guy I lost to, I want revenge. This was really anticlimactic as he lost connection when the game was tied in the first. Only three more games to go, 18 and 2 would still be enough for top 20, just as last week. But in the next game, I'm playing Aro89, who's actually rank 1 in this month's Rivals leaderboard. At the start of the game, he showed me why. I allowed four goals in the first. I did create plenty of offense in this game though, Actually, scoring chances were really even. The difference was that I couldn't score, and Aro did. I had 20 shots in the game, but still lost convincingly. After this, I did a goalie change. Okay, let's let's switch Swayman, because I feel like Swayman has had a lot of troubles. Swayman has 41 games, 77 save percentage. Got to say, I do defend really, really aggressively, but still 77 is too low and I think we've seen that Swayman hasn't been good. I do have the Kemper which my previous opponent had as well. I'll upgrade him to an 81 and uh, let's see. Aro again. <laughs> All right. Aro again. Here's the highlights of the game. It's time to show what I can do. Okay come on let's get let's win this guy now. There we go come on. That's it. Oh my god! What? There we go. I think I deserved it. Deserved that. 2 0. Kill my car. Red Step Camper. Oh. Red Step Camper. Okay. Oh, is, was this what I was missing all the time? Camper in net? I, I need to help him out though. My defense is awful right now. Come on, baby, Matthew Nice. Oh, yo! Why are my players doing a line change? Can't get the right guy at all. Let's say. What a sad. Dude, this camp, that camper is incredible. Luckily, I have him now as well. Red save camper. Ah. Uh. 
dude, dude, honestly, that camper is so nuts, man. <laughs> oi, oi. <coughs> That camper, man, like... <laughs> oi, oi. Dude, what's up with that camper? Cairo, beautiful patience on the breakout. One of my better hot games of the entire year, outplaying the rank one rivals player like that is a good sign what I can do when I'm on my A game. I think I should have changed my goalie before as well. Last game in champs and I'm dominating. Check yours, baby. Bang, don't choke this one. Of course not. 6-1, man. What is there to choke? <laughs> like, I'm a... What? <laughs> There's no way. It's not going to happen. That's why I'm laughing already. There's no way. It's just not going to happen. Oh, he got the wrap off. <laughs> Dude, I almost took the six goal lead. <laughs> what a champs run. 17 and 3. Really similar to week one, actually. At my best, I felt like I had the 20 and no in me. But some bad luck and inconsistency in my gameplay wasn't enough this week. Maybe I sold McDavid too early as well. Let me know in the comments. But because I sold him, I have enough coins for the 600k guaranteed fantasy pack. Before we go into that though, final rule change to this series for now. What if I get 20 annoying champs? That's what I'm really playing champs for at the end of the day and the rewards this year from EA side are awful. I'm also at my pack limit right now and I get new packs all the time. In the future, if I get 20 ano in champs, I'm allowed to open all of my unopened packs. My Twitch streams chat came up with the idea. By the way, follow my Twitch to watch my streams live. And I also upload all of my streams in full to an Eki live channel on YouTube. All of the links in the description. Let me know in the comments if you like the reward idea for 20 ano, or would that be too much? But now it's time. I went to play a rivals game to get a first tar with Matthews, which I made happen with a last minute goal. Now it's time for a fantasy pack. Let's see if it's worth it. I would really want a higher overall fantasy that would be usable right away and has a better chance to get higher overalls early, like Sanheim, Middlestad. I would also take someone like Malkin, who would be insane if he just scores enough. Come on, let's go. It's go time. Oh, that hurt my soul. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. One of the only cards I didn't want. I sold, I sold Connor McDavid for this. I can never get him back. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoy the content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It's free and helps me out a ton. Also, for a limited time, I have a special code to my sponsor's Logitech website. Eki NHL, 20% off the whole Logitech G portfolio, which is anything gaming related, uh, PC related. Also, 10% off this incredible headset that I use, Astro A50X. I even use the mic in the videos. I like it that much. The discount code also applies to already discounted products. So if you need anything, link in the description.